So, next we talk about uh, signal flow graphs for state equations. In our previous lecture, we have learnt how to uh, represent these uh, state equations in block diagrams. So, we can also uh, represent these uh, state equations using uh, signal flow graphs. That is sometimes uh, useful uh, as we shall study uh, later. So, over here we want to obtain signal flow graph for this uh, state space representation. So, what we see is that uh, in these state equations, uh, there are different signals. For example, you have uh, signal x1, x2, x3 uh, and also uh, their derivatives. So, we indicate as, all these signals over here. So, we have x1, x2, x3 and uh, from these state equations, what you see is that x1 dot that is equal to x2. So, if uh, this signal is x1 and uh, if I connect these two uh, signals with this branch with again 1 over s. So, if this signal is x1, what will be this signal? x1 dot. This will be derivative of x1 and x1 dot equal to x2. So, this uh, we have implemented first of the state equations with the, uh, the, this part of the graph. And uh, similarly, uh, you see that x2 dot is equal to x3. So, this is x2 and if we connect uh, this signal with uh, this uh, branch with gain 1 over s. So, if it is x2, this signal will be x2 dot and x2 dot is same as x3. Uh, we are doing the same thing as we have done it over here but in slightly different uh, notation. Here integrators were represented by blocks and here these are represented by simple uh, branches and gains of the branches. And uh, then uh, this signal is x3, this is x3 dot and uh, what we see is that x3 dot is equal to uh, minus 24 x1 minus 26 x2 minus 9 x3 uh, plus 24. So, similar to this thing, uh, we uh, write it over here. Uh, so, x3 dot, you, you remember this uh, signal flow uh, diagram notation. So, outgoing signal is basically sum of all incoming signals with uh, this notation. So, since we cannot uh, write minus sign over here, so these uh, gains which were written over here, these are now, uh, we have simply uh, appended uh, this sign over here in this uh, uh, case. So, uh, here again uh, there is some uh, mistake over here, uh, x1 is multiplied with minus 24, so it must be minus 24 and x3 is uh, being multiplied with minus 9, so minus 9 should be here. And uh, so, this is uh, another uh, representation of the same block diagram using signal flow graphs. The output equation y is simply equal to uh, x and that is uh, uh, over here. So, this is signal flow graph representation of these state equations. Uh, as a homework, uh, we are not yet concluded with this lecture, but you have uh, some homework, you have to do it at your home. Uh, you have to obtain signal flow graph uh, representation of uh, this uh, system. Uh, we have the same state equations as uh, written over here. The only difference is the output equation. So, you can, uh, uh, we had uh, in previous lecture, we have obtained a block diagram representation of uh, this uh, dynamic system. Uh, you are required to write uh, the signal flow graph for uh, this dynamic system. Uh, we take one more example uh, to uh, demonstrate the same thing. Uh, we want to obtain uh, uh, signal flow graphs to represent these uh, state equations and the output equation. So, here uh, again we have multiple signals, you have x1, x2, x3 and also uh, their derivatives. So, we represent each of these signals with uh, small uh, nodes uh, over here and uh, this signal is x2, x2 dot, x3 and x3 dot. Uh, what is relation between x and x dot? So, you can simply join these uh, signals with uh, these integrators 
so if this is uh, s uh, x1 so it will be simply x1 that is x1 and x1 dot likewise x2 and x2 dot x3 and x3 dot and uh, what we see is that uh, x1 dot is equal to sum of these signals 2 multiplied by x1 minus 5 x2 plus 3 x3 plus 2 r so this signal is uh, x1 dot and that is uh, over here this outgoing signal is sum of incoming signal this is 2 x1 this term and minus 5 x2 this term and 3 x3 is uh, this over here and 2 multiplied by r that is over here so we have implemented uh, we have uh, implemented this uh, state equation next uh, we uh, represent this state equation with signal flow graph uh, that is again signal uh, th that is simple x2 dot is uh, over here so this signal uh, you can simply connect the branches uh, x2 dot x2 dot over here is minus 6 x1 minus 6 x1 minus 2 x2 this term and uh, plus 2 x3 uh, where is that uh, 2 x3 uh, this one 2 x3 uh, plus 5 multiplied by r that is over here in other typo it must be plus 5 this uh, this should be plus 5 and uh, similarly uh, this equation that is uh, represented over here by the same procedure uh, we have implemented uh, the state equations and now the output equation output is minus 4 x1 plus 6 x2 plus 9 x3 this signal is x3 x2 and x1 uh, we can multiply uh, these uh, things uh, and finally uh, get the output signal over here minus 4 x1 uh, this minus 4 multiplied by x1 6 multiplied by x2 and 9 multiplied by x3 and dear sum so this is signal flow graph representation of uh, uh, these uh, state space models and uh, sometimes uh, it is uh, useful particularly when uh, we shall be obtaining uh, different uh, state space representations for a system uh, we shall use uh, these uh, signal flow graphs.